Hey, I'm Brandon, joined here by my buddy Pat. We're taking a closer look at the Street & Steel Dakota Leather Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. So the Dakota Leather Jacket, this is that classic timeless jacket. Think, uh, you know, Marlon Brando era. This is something that's asymmetrical and it does give you, you know, a good amount of protection with the CE Level 2 uh, that you're going to find at the shoulders, the elbows, and then it is a nice cowhide thick leather main construction. So a good amount of uh, impact protection as well as abrasion resistance. But I do want you to keep in mind that this is a part of our exclusive brands, which is really nice. We have a direct connection to the team designing this and developing this gear. So we love getting your feedback to make sure that we're meeting all of our riders' needs. Now let's talk about the overall fit. Now Pat here is about 220 pounds. He's about six feet tall with a 44 inch chest. He is currently wearing a size medium. He typically wears a size large uh, to XL depending on the brand. So I would say this is running about a full size uh, more generous. It's definitely more of that American cut brand. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you've got your measurements, reference that chart and I'd probably go down a full size if you want it to fit nice and snug against the body. And you can even still see that it's a little bit more relaxed in the arms as well for Pat. So I'd say uh, go down a full size and you should be all set. Now keep in mind we do have our price match policy in place. That of course is there to guarantee that you're getting the lowest price available. Now starting out the collar here, you can see that you can unsnap these and fold them up. This is really nice in the winter months or when it's cooler out I should say. You know you can uh, roll those up and just give you a bit more coverage and this zipper goes all the way towards the top. Seat level 2 protection at the shoulder and then working our way down the elbow you get seat level 2 protection here as well. And then of course you've got that cowhide throughout the entire jacket which is nice and thick for excellent abrasion resistance and then a simple zipper closure here towards the bottom of the cuff or towards the bottom of the wrist I should say. And then we've got an asymmetrical chest pocket, two hand warmer pockets on the side and then you can keep you know your lipstick or perhaps a quarter in there if you wish to. Now one thing I do like is that this belt is removable so it is adjustable you can see here Pat's taking that off nice. So you can take this all the way out. It's nice to have that adjustability. Some people don't really like the belt. I've seen a lot of riders actually just cut these away. So it's nice that it is very easily removable um, because this buckle can actually scratch up your tank depending on you know, what bike you're riding and what riding position you're gonna be utilizing this jacket in. Let's get rid of that. See you later. Now, Pat, can you go ahead and face that direction for me, sir? You can see here we've got nice gussets right at the top of the shoulder. This is great because it gives you a little bit of relief, a little bit more comfort in that riding position. Always something I'm going to be looking for, whether it's accordion, uh, relief stitching, some gussets, etc., whatever it may be. I do like having that there just to give me a, a bit more comfort in the riding position, as I mentioned. And then we've got two vents on both the left and right hand side underneath the armpit right here at the back of the ribs, if you will. And then, of course, you can see this is where that belt loop goes all the way around the jacket. Now, Pat, go ahead and face the back for me, sir. No back protector is included, but of course you've got a pocket at the back of this jacket, so you can easily add one if you wish to do so. The other thing, towards the bottom of the jacket on the inside, you can actually access this large panel here. So if you want to add your cuts or perhaps uh, patches, something like that to the back of this jacket, you can easily do so um, by accessing the inside there. Additionally, this is a huge panel of leather. They're not cutting costs on this jacket. Usually you'll see a split here with the back of the leather, but this is one large panel panel, which definitely adds cost to the jacket and to the manufacturing process. But again, they are keeping the cost low and giving you a lot of jacket at this price point for sure. Now, Pat, go ahead and face the front for me, sir. Let's unzip that, take a quick look inside. As you can see, you do have a removable thermal vest. That's just going to give you some additional versatility in those cooler months. Um, some stash pockets there as well. And then on the left-hand side of the jacket, underneath this uh, removable vest liner, you do have a concealed carry pocket. Now, one of my little nitpicks with that is you have to go underneath the uh, removable vest liner in order to access that concealed carry pocket, unless you just go ahead and zip out the entire liner system here. So it's a little bit cumbersome um, if that's something you wish to utilize. So on the next iteration of this jacket, maybe we could come up with something that's a little bit better in my personal opinion, but that's just one of those nitpicks for me. Otherwise, pretty straightforward on the inside. And this is gonna be that classic timeless jacket that uh, you know we've seen time and time again. Great level of protection, great level uh, of abrasion resistance with this jacket, and something that a lot of riders can utilize on those more classic uh, or classic modern motorcycles out there.
But of course, if you're looking for more details, feel free to click that info button. That will take you over to RevZilla.com where you can read other rider reviews. And of course, if you have any questions for us, don't hesitate to reach out to our gear geeks. Give them a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at RevZilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit and taking a closer look at the Street & Steel Dakota Leather Jacket. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.